Silas up. Hang on. <laughs> Hallelujah! Woo! Thank you, Jesus. In 2008, I was in Kinshasa at the International Airport waiting for my departure. While I was in the departure hall, I started speaking with Silas, and we've been traveling the nations of the world together ever since. God brought us together in a supernatural way. We didn't know each other. We'd never met before. We were just talking in the airport. Come on, Silas. Come on up here. And we went to get on the airplane a 747 with like 400 passengers. And my seat was right next to Silas' seat. God supernaturally made sure we didn't, meet, didn't miss each other. So I'm, I'm privileged for, to bring this man up here. Thank you, Silas. God bless you, sir. Slap your hand together for Jesus. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. The way you are clapping looks suspicious this morning. Hallelujah. I used to say this all around the world that whenever you are clapping for Jesus, you are slapping the devil. Put your hand together for Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to stand on this exalted altar. I've heard much about our bishop, and um, I'm privileged to meet with him today. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, really. Hallelujah. I was speaking in East London. I told them in East London, I said, it is not everywhere you see the Bible, you see God. It's not everywhere you see the Bible, you see what? But when I walk into this hall, I heard clearly that God is here. <laughs> Bishop, thank you very much for the opportunity. The pastors, the clergy, and every one of you. Let me take just a few minutes to bless us before we leave. Why stand and pick your Bible? Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. We're going to read verse 1 and verse 2 of Matthew chapter 1. Have you seen it? The way you are standing this morning, I don't like it. Have you seen it? Uh. Now we're going to read together the kind of three Matthew chapter 1 Verse 1 and 2 1 to 3 go everybody One more time Read it loud now 1 to 3 go everybody Father, make my mouth the pen of a ready writer. To speak forth the metability of the counsel of heaven. Throw your weights around in this house. And do what no man can do. We vow to give you all the praise. In Jesus name. Sit down and never go down. 
Let me also appreciate Pastor Abel and Reverend Sam. God bless you mightily. Now, the place we read, the Bible said, the book of the generation of Jesus. The book of the generation of Jesus. The book of the generation of Jesus. The son of who? Oh, somebody talk to me. The son of who? And the son of who? Let me begin by saying, the Lord told me this morning while I was praying, that, that there are 108 persons in this hour this morning, that in 2015, your harvest will manifest. I say your harvest will manifest. No power can hold it down. No devil can hold it down. Because it is your season. Lift up your right hand and say my harvest must surely manifest. Any power that has been holding your harvest all this while. They will let you go today. As you are shouting amen you are number one. Your harvest. There are many people here that are operating in their due season because their harvest is about to come and the enemy have been holding what belongs to them but today today we are not here to beg the devil i was driving when we are coming i saw a signboard and the signboard said no retreat no surrender so i was telling pastor andrew i said i said that is an error the 21st century church have grown above the place of no retreat, no surrender. We are in the place of emancipation proclamation. No negotiation, no bargaining, and no compromise. I say no negotiation, no bargaining, and no compromise. Look at your neighbor say no negotiation. <laughs> no bargaining, no compromise. In another word, what God is about to do for you, God will do it. And I'm here to tell you that this year, as you shout amen, your harvest will manifest. Every power from your father's house, every altar from your village that have been eating up your harvest, as you shout amen, they will disappear. I said they will disappear. I said that we disappear. I said that we disappear. Let your amen sound like a thunder. My harvest will manifest. When my harvest manifests, anything is possible. Am I talking to somebody? I say anything is possible. The land you've been looking for, this year is the year. The houses you want to build, this year is the year. The understanding of God will flow over your life. The wisdom of God will flow over your life. If you are there, shout, I hear you. I say, shout, I hear you. I say, shout, I hear you. Now, the place we read, if you are a Bible scholar, you, 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 you find out that it's talking about genealogy. The Bible said, the book. Someone said, the book. Let me hear you loud. Shout it one more time. The Bible said the book of the generation of Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Which means in another word, life is a book. Am I talking to somebody? This one is the one of Jesus. The book of the generation of Jesus. So life is a book. And the problem of the 21st century church is this. 90% of people in the church are living a life under a closed book. Am I talking to somebody? That is why I look as if things are not working. But we are here today by the grace of God to declare your book open. I said to declare your book open. To declare your book open. In the name of Jesus. Now Jesus said, he said, I came in the volume of book written of me to do the will, oh God. I came, I came. So everybody came to this planet under a book. Jesus
Jesus said, I came in the volume of book written of me. In Isaiah 61, and Luke 4, the Bible says, and Jesus went to the temple and took the book and he found a place written of him. Not until he opened, he never found. Kabo Shadahila. Not until he opened, he never found. The reason why he looked as if some are prospering and some are suffering is just discovering. The day you discover, that day you recover. And I'm here to tell you that I am taking authority against powers over your life. Because today is by force. If the devil refuses to hear mene mene, he will hear teke teke. Am I talking to somebody? Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. If the devil refuses to hear mene mene, he will hear teke teke. If you believe that shot fire. Jesus went to the temple and he found a book and he opened it. Who have closed your book? Baroda Gadiba Yanda Hilas. Any altar or evil hand that have closed your book. As you shout amen and command those hands to wither. Your amen is hanging with one leg. Your amen is looking for my trouble. As you shout amen and command those hands to wither. Without in the morning, without in the noon time, without in the midnight, if you are yes, are yes. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. If now you close my book, you better pull your hand now. If not, you will die. When your book is open, anything is permitted to happen. Look at the book of Ezra, 8 verse 5. It said, and when Ezra opened the book, it was above all the people. When Ezra opened the book, it was above all the people. Jariga Dahasa, this year, whosoever that have closed your book, as you shout fire, it will open. I say as you shut fire, it will open. I say as you shut fire, it will open. I say as you shut fire, it will open. In the name of Jesus. Where you are can never determine who you are. It is what you know that determines where you are going. I used to tell people, I said, if I am opportune to live in the village, I will still be a millionaire. Are you with me, somebody? It's not a prayer point. It's by discovering. For my people perish for lack of knowledge. Where you are cannot determine your future. John Rice said the other days. He said, he said, God will not determine your past to predict your future. He also said, no matter how terrible your past was, your future is spotless. Am I talking to somebody? Because the difference between your present and your future is information. And the principle ahead of it is knowledge. But any knowledge that is not updated is always outdated. And outdated knowledge have kept the 21st century church in the place of isolation. And isolation is the beginning of desolation. Hear me and hear me good. I am here on that divine audacity to make a pronouncement by the judicial law of eternity. As you shout him in 2015, your book shall be open. In the name of Jesus. Now because of time, let's leave that. Now verse 2 said, put verse 2 on the screen. Verse 2 said, of Matthew chapter 1, he said, Abraham begot Isaac. Is this so in your Bible? Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot who? Judah and his brethren. When you look at that place of scripture, you will find out that there are a lot of errors in it. Namadobasha. Today, God is about to correct foundations. God is about to correct destiny. What belongs to you, God is about to put it in your hand. That your amen is looking for my trouble. 
Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah and his brethren. Now, the firstborn of Abraham was not Isaac, though Isaac is the covenant child. But I don't want to go into that. The firstborn of Abraham was Ishmael. Is this on your Bible? But Ishmael was removed for someone else's to take his place. Now the firstborn of Isaac was not Jacob. It was who? Esau. Esau was removed for someone else to take his place. And the firstborn of Jacob was not Judas or Joseph, but it was Reuben. But Reuben was removed for Judah to take his place. The Lord is telling me, the reason why your glory is not shining is because someone else is, is occupying your place. But we are here to Let me say this for five minutes and I leave. We are here to, to make them to leave your place so that you can occupy it. Am I talking to somebody? Whosoever is sitting on your position in destiny as you shout, Amen, they will disappear. Now, where is Ishmael? Ishmael's destiny was silent. Where is Esau? Esau's destiny was silent. Where is Reuben? Reuben's destiny was silent. Many people in life and ministry, business and otherwise, they are living a life but their destiny is silent. Psalm 29. He said the voice of the Lord is mighty. It's full of majesty. God is about to give voice to destiny in this house. God is about to give voice to destiny in this house. Whatever thing that has silenced your destiny, as you shout, Amen, it will disappear. As I'm talking now, something is happening. When your destiny carries voice, then you begin to accelerate. When your destiny carries voice, then you begin to give him praise. You begin to say, God, you are bigger than the biggest. You are taller than the tallest. You are deeper than the deepest. You are my past Ebenezer, making room for my future benevolence. You join the alphabets to give God praise. You say, A, call you the Alpha. B, call you the Beloved. C, call you Comforter. D, call you Thor. E, call you Everlasting. F, call you fairest of 10,000 to my soul. G, call you God. H, call you Ayers. I, call you Emmanuel. L, call you Lord of Lord. O, call you Omnipotent. M, call you Mighty. N, call you the Never Failing God. Q call you the Queen of Esther. Us call you the Esmas King. W call you the Waymaker. Y call you the Yoke Breaker. Z call you the Zion. Somebody said yes. Whosoever is standing in front of you for your destiny not to shine. For your destiny not to shine. Whosoever whosoever mean whosoever it may be your father whosoever it may be your mother whosoever it may be your uncle whosoever i declare under this exalted altar that as you shout amen that we die in your place i said that we die in your place i said that we die in your place as your amen is louder the angels of God are walking they will die in your place 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 any man or woman that is occupying my seat I command you to disappear now disappear now let your amen holler like a thunder. Before I close, let me say this. While I was praying in the Holy Ghost this morning, about one hour after I was praying in the Holy Ghost, and I hear God clearly, God said, tell them. He said, make this declaration, and for as many that receive it with a shout of amen, I will do it for them. I said, Lord, what is that? The Lord said there are over 300 people in this holy house. 
He said, tell them, 2015 will not go empty in your life. You didn't hear what I said. I said, 2015 will not go empty in your life. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor. You better treat me well now. Because God has begun with me. After this service, by this time next year, I will employ you in my company. I will employ you in my company. Don't be afraid. The righteous is as bold as lion. Don't be afraid. Look at your neighbor again. Say, neighbor. You better be careful of me. I have received an empowerment today. Neighbor. By this time next year, I will employ you in my company. Look at your neighbor again. You say, say neighbor. Let me tell you this. After service today, you better take me to one of the finest restaurants. If not, by this time next year, I will employ you as my gate man. Quickly, lift up your two ends. Stand on your feet, everybody, quickly. You are going to declare, whosoever it has taken my place in destiny. In the place of Ishmael, Isaac was seen. In the place of Esau, Jacob was seen. In the place of Reuben, Judah was seen. Who has taken my place? As I pray today, disappear. Disappear. Open your mouth and begin to fire rice prayers. Open your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Open your mouth. Open your mouth quickly. Laga de bakoya dash. Zira goda balada dahasha. Mekra do do sopra di katahandia. Leka baro de kira da bonsa. Derigas mande ke bohos. Mende kira bato ya daha. Baro de kito do tisa. Dira godi ba saredi. I beg you for two minutes. Open your mouth and pray. Something is happening in this house. Open your mouth. I beg of you to pray. Enough is enough. Somebody needs to leave for someone to be enthroned. It is your season on that open book. Baradega de Bosia. Baradega de Bosia. Inanana mokobosa. Hey, Barodi Gasa. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough. That Jesus died and that he died for me. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died. And that he died for me. Zila globally. Zila globally very. Zila bave. Zila glove. Nebolu blaveli. Iglede na 
Something is happening here. Borodi Gadash. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My God, that's here. Till my trophy at last I lay down. I will cleave to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Name a gobash. Ibaloba Leglish. In Jesus' name. I believe I still have about 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. We're going to sing this song for three minutes. Then I will do what God will have me do. Instrumentalists, you're going to play it and listen. I want you to rejoice while singing it. Dance. Celebrate your new position. Because something is about to happen to somebody's life. And I'm here to tell you I'm number one. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. To this blessing. Me one. You 32. Me, I'm number one. I'm number one. You can point at me. You know, Bishop have given, given me the audacity, so I'm your pastor now. Now, every one of you are going to point me, say me one. I say point at me. You tell me, say me one, then you tell yourself 32. Look at your neighbor again. Say neighbor. For this blessing. Me one. You 32. We are the shoes in generation. Call for to show his excellency. All I require for life. God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I am, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Where he says I am, where he says I am, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in the Lord. I lead the line of favor. I know who I am. Sing it. Walking in power. I'm walking in the Lord. I lead the line of favor. Oh, 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 I know who I am. The way you are dancing, I don't like it. I'm Woo! giving you one minute again. One minute. We are the shoes in generation. Come on. Call for to show His excellency. All I require for life. All I require for life. God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God, God says I am. What he says I have, what he says I have, I know who I am, I know who God says I have, what he says I have, what he says I have, I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking in miracles, I live the life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking in power, I'm walking in miracles, I live the life of favor. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live the life of favor. For the last time, I'm walking. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live the life of favor. I know who I am. Oh, 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 oh. Abacado. Amen. 
Amen. Amen.